Hello and welcome back to CSC 253, Advanced C Sharp Programming. My name is Alan. In our last video, we took a look at how we can use Visual Studio to build GUI-driven applications using Windows Forms and populating them with controls. In this video, we're going to look at how we can make those controls perform tasks for the user when asked. This is primarily done by events and event handling. GUIs are said to be event-driven. When the user interacts with a component, that GUI component triggers an event which tells the program to perform a task. This process of responding to events is known as event handling. Creating an event to be handled in Vis Visual Studio is quite simple. Let's open up the application that was created in our last video and add event an event to be handled. So now we have the application open that we started in the last video. And just to refresh your memory, this application had a simple button, label, and text box. Let's start by double clicking the Press Me button that we created. Doing this will tell Visual Studio to automatically create the method that will handle the event we want to create. Whatever it is you want to happen when this button is clicked is placed inside of this method. What we're going to do is change the text that is currently shown in the label to what the user entered into the text box. In doing this, you're also going to see how easy it is to alter a control's property during runtime. So we'll want to refer to the control by the name that we supplied in the last video, its name property. So let's assign the text that is in the text box object to the text property of the label. Now if we build and run the program, we can see the event in action. So the application is running. Let's enter some data into this text box. I put hello in the text box. I'm going to click the button and you can see that the event caused the text in the label to be the same text that we entered into the text box. And we can probably do that again. That wraps up this video as well as most of what we'll focus on in the GUI series. There's of course a lot more that you can do and I would highly recommend that you do some uh, self-studying on the web and see what else can be accomplished with the .NET framework in creating GUI-based applications. In the next video, I will be providing you with a brief introduction to multi-threading programming as well as its concepts.